another day post tournament on the yellowfin 36 yellowfin scott connie michael casey all back there and we might do a little bit of fishing today but we're gonna pull up grab some lunch at the pig island which i've shown you guys before but a couple years ago now they built a bar here so it's got a restaurant and stuff too which is cool but it's cool the other way also but the water here is just beautiful looking and i think we might end up looking for some snappers today or some little lobster scouting Say bye bye to the pig island, but we got the goods. Conch salad, fresh conch salad, and now we're going to hang out with Reese Witherspoon. Right? It's a good show. <laughs> I thought she was dead. I heard she stabbed herself. No. With a spoon? No, with a knife. Wait, oh. we, did, we did that way wrong. <laughs> the bakers dive day extraordinaire with captain scotty hello captain scotty is going to get a giant hogfish today but first me and casey are checking out a spot and we're going to see what's down there i got geared up casey's getting his spear put together we're using the headhunter pole spears today and i don't know if you can see this see that wave that spot's like two feet deep and it drops off like 60 so it should be pretty cool we're gonna see what kind of life is around now this was not gonna be a dive day i got in the water we saw a nice strawberry grouper and i was gonna shoot it i'm cocked back on the headhunter pole spear but i decided not to it kind of dipped under a rock so we let him slide but then we found some hogfish we hadn't had any fish in the boat yet and this wasn't a giant hogfish but i had a really really good shot on it i ended up stoning it right there and it just doesn't get any better than that you can see it turned white right away just a perfect eating hogfish now that strawberry that I let fly in the beginning, this one wasn't gonna be so lucky. He was dipped under a ledge and it was another nice strawberry grouper. And you can hear after I hit him, he starts grunting. And that's why we do the grunting when we're diving. It's a fish in distress. And a lot of times it attracts other fish. So I had a good shot on him. I put my hand on the other side of the pole spear and went ahead and pulled him up. Now you can see we're flying through these. This is just a quick little dive section before we get into the rest of the video for you. But nice strawberry grouper there. Now I spooked up this black grouper and I kind of kept my eye on him. I thought I was going to get a shot on him as he poked his head out of that hole, but he just hauled butt out of that rock into some other ones. I had a good idea of where he went and I kind of changed my angle of approach and went around the long way kind of, came back on the rock and I saw the perfect little crack that he would fit in and I just figured he'd be down in that hole and as I looked in there, sure enough there he was. I took my time, lined up that pole spear and let it fly. Now this isn't a giant black grouper, but again, it's an awesome eating fish. We have hogfish for dinner, we have strawberry grouper for dinner, now we have black grouper for dinner. Just super good stuff. A sea turtle is always something I like seeing when I'm diving. They're really cool just to kind of see how close you can get. And then after that sea turtle, I came face to face with another grouper. I'm pretty sure this is a yellowfin grouper. I get a little mixed up on them sometimes because I don't see a lot of them. But he's camoed out so good in these rocks. I thought about taking a shot on him but I decided not to. And as I get closer and closer, you'll see him right here as he turns. He kind of gives himself away. I might have been able to follow him, but then I found the fish I was after. I love me some big, giant, dumb hogfish, and that's exactly what I found right here. I stuck my head out of the water, I didn't see anything, I looked down and there he was. And I took my time, got real close, and let it fly. I didn't stone him, but I pinned him to the ground. I knew the tip went all the way through, and that headhunter tip just engaged perfectly. Picked up a whole giant dust cloud, really attracting anything in the area. Uh, but this was another really solid big old male hogfish. That's the one I wanted. That's what I really, really like shooting in the Bahamas. It's fun to try to hunt the groupers and the rocks and stuff, but I just love the simplicity and the deliciousness of a big old hogfish. Showing them off to the boat for a second. And one of the things I really, really like to do after I shoot a fish is I get my knife, I swing it sometimes, that usually doesn't work. 
but I got him brained, and that's just to stop him from kicking around, stop him from struggling, kill him faster. You can see the shark moved in down there on the bottom, but he wasn't really paying any attention to me. He probably came in on that giant dust cloud that hogfish kicked up. There we go, that's what we wanted. Oh, down. There we go, that's what we wanted. Oh, down. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Hoggy! Hoggies! Finally found a good one today. Such a beautiful little hogfish. Not so little. That slip tip engaged perfect. Right through the gill. Blocked him in up there by the eyeball. Try to make a little run into the reef. But that is what we want. That's an abaco hog right there. Solid hog. Look how their mouths work. So this comes out and opens up like that. Giant mouth. Pick up all the crustaceans they want. Just a few seconds later, Ryan found himself another one matching. I mean, I think they were really close in size. I think Ryan actually got one that was a little bit bigger. And there was another big one in the background right there. We'll show you that again. Right there, there's a couple more hogfish. They weren't as big as Ryan's, but they were some more really solid hogfish and a nice big old chub, but we don't ever shoot those. But there you go, Ryan got his big fish for the day. Awesome that we got a couple big hogs to kind of wrap it up with uh, towards the end of the diving. The spear's not all the way through, so get a good grip. Nice one! Damn. Got this one. I didn't even see him swimming down for it. I just heard that shaft hit it. There he is. Solid hogs. Now it's time to go find some tunas. Joey, just show him where to go. I think Chaz has been here before. Okay. 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 Your phone's over there. You guys got me. What? Okay. So what started as just our crew, we picked up a bunch of people. And we're back here again. Wait, hats off. Yeah, you're right. Hats off to hats off to Bruce. And Scott, what do you got to say? What's the last thing you say? Right now. I'm throwing you off. All right, Scott McHenry says, don't jump. We're just going up there to look. Yeah, we're going to This shit is hurting. That's why I wore, I wore flip flops. <laughs> there goes the boat. All right, it does not look very high. That's pretty high. Come on, Connie. No, you got to come up. Nine foot? This is the deep end. Is it everyone at once or one at a time? Then don't jump on someone else. <laughs> the El Rolo. Yeah, don't hit that ledge that sticks out. Uh oh. Don't do it, Zach. Trust yeah. me. Do it! Yeah. No, God damn it. Don't do it. Do it. I want to be the only me one. Me and Ryan on recovery. Send it. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Now, for the best part of watching people climb in the boat. What? 